in this video i will show you how to create a dependent list using a very useful excel built in function in direct so this is a list of country names and the second list is the list of states for the selected country and third one is a list of city names based on the selected state so the state list is dependent on the selected country and the city list is dependent on the selected state so i'm going to select india so the state list will be from india so uttar pradesh bihar kerala i am selecting kerala the city names will be from kerala kochi trivandrum kolikot so this is a dependent list so if i am selecting united states of america the state names will be from united states of america see i am selecting new jersey the city names will be from new jersey state so new york first let us learn how indirect function works so indirect function returns reference specified by a text string so this text string can be a cell reference or a named range so i have updated few indirect function formula in column c let us see this formula one by one so i am copy pasting this formula here to columns d using an equal to so here it says indirect double quotes a2 so the string is a2 so that means it evaluates this as a cell reference so a2 contains string e2 so it will print the contents of a2 so let us see press enter so it printed the contents of cell a2 so a2 contains value e2 so this we have given a double quotes so let us copy the next formula which is indirect a2 but without quotes so it will put the contents of a2 in indirect functions the contents of a2 is e2 so e2 will be updated inside indirect function using double quotes so the contents of a2 will be replaced inside indirect function in double quotes so the contents of a2 is e2 so e2 in double quotes will be evaluated so e2 in double quotes means the content of cell e2 the content of cell e2 is new delhi the value in cell e2 is new delhi so it will print new delhi so let us press enter so let's do f2 so indirect a2 it replaced a2 with contents of a2 as e2 in double quotes so cell e2 points to new delhi and it prints new delhi so i'll show you using the evaluate formula here under formula there is an evaluate formula so let us evaluate this formula so indirect a2 so i am stepping in so a2 the value is e2 i am stepping out so indirect got the value e2 which is the content of cell a2 in double quotes so indirect double quotes e2 means print the contents of cell e2 so cell e2 is new delhi so evaluate it prints new delhi closing this that's how it printed new delhi so next formula we can i will copy equal to paste so this one says indirect string is g concatenated with contents of a3 a3 contains value 2 so it will evaluate to indirect double quotes g2 so g2 has value cauliflower so let us see i press enter it printed cauliflower again i will use evaluate formula so evaluate formula i will step in so it printed the value of a3 which is 2 step out so it evaluated to double quotes g amberson 2 then again evaluate so indirect double quotes g2 so g2 contain cauliflower so evaluate again it prints cauliflower so i'm closing this next formula is indirect a4 a4 contains the name vegetable so vegetable is a named range pointing to cauliflower cell g2 so let us see pressing enter so it printed cauliflower so i'll show you the vegetable named range if i go to formula name manager so there is a vegetable if i click on this see it points to cauliflower so cell g2 
so that is why it evaluated the name vegetable and printed the contents of the cell represented by the named range vegetable so i'll show you evaluate formula so step in a4 it's vegetable step out so indirect vegetable evaluate it prints cauliflower the so next is a table reference so i have created a table here fruits country so this if i click on table design it is the table name is table 4 here you can see table 4 so this is table 4 so i am referencing table 4 i'm copying this equal to indirect table 4 it will print the contents of table 4 press enter so it printed the contents of the table listed here here i can modify the formula here by adding the column name just if i want to print just the fruits so along with table 4 i will update square bracket then i will update the column name fruits fruits is the column name and then close the square bracket and let us see what it prints so now it printed mango orange goa pineapple so like this if i want to print the country names instead of fruits i will give the column header of country in the table it should match with the column name column header in the table let's see so it printed the countries listed here now let us create a dependent list with country names states and cities so i have created three tables here so one for countries which has the name table three so if i click on table design here it will show the name as table three and another table containing the country names as headers and the state names under it so for india it is uttar pradesh bihar kerala and united states of america some states so i have created only few state names under just two countries so i haven't updated state names for united kingdom germany cyprus and uae so if i click on table design so it shows table one the name is table one and another third table table two it contains the state names as head headers and the city names as contents so i have updated state names of all countries in just one table so after gujarat i have updated new york's state new jersey states and its cities so this is table two so here if i click table design it's saying table two so first let us create the country list so for that i will update the formula in a different cell before creating the drop down list to understand the formula so i will type this formula using indirect indirect the table name of countries is table three so i will put i will update table three as the string and let us see press enter what are the so it printed the list of countries so if i add canada here so canada appeared here if i delete it canada is gone from here so i'll copy this indirect formula control c and then click on country cell b3 click on data tab select data validation from data tools click on this drop down select data validation in allow click on the drop down list and select list and in the source you paste using control v the formula you copied the direct formula i copied so and click ok now let us click on this drop down so it shows the list of country names so again we will see if i update canada the list will contain canada so we created the first list and delete this now i will select india as country and try to create the list again state so before that i will show you the formula which we have to use so i'll again use indirect the state names is in table one so i will start the formula table one start the square bracket and what should be the column header name because i have updated the name of the country as the column header in the states table close the double quotes now i have to give the column header india which is the country name i selected so i will use ampersand to concatenate and to evaluate the column header 
for the selected country i will click on cell b3 and use absolute reference by pressing f4 and then concatenate the closing square bracket close the bracket so we'll press enter let's see what it prints so it printed all the state names under the selected country india so i want to bring this list of states for the selected country in a drop down list so for that i will copy this formula control c then click on cell b4 go to data tab data validation in the allow drop down i'll select list and in the source i will paste the formula from cell b8 okay so now let us see so it started showing the drop down list of states from india so i'll delete this list i will update kerala state now i have to create the city list for kerala I means city list dependent on the selected state and country let us construct the formula for city here so equal to indirect double quotes so the state names are in table 2 so i'll update table 2 start the square bracket close the double quotes concatenate the selected state so selected state is in cell b4 so click on cell b4 press f4 for absolute reference then again concatenate the closing square bracket so closing square bracket then close the indirect function bracket so let us see what it prints so it printed the cities listed in table 2 against kerala so now i will copy this formula con using control c now click on city con data tab data validation select from allow list and then paste the copied formula okay so now it will show the cities in kerala so i'll delete this I'll delete this now i will select the country as united states of america let us see it is listing the states from united states so start instead of uttar pradesh bihar and all now it started showing states from united states of america listed in table 1 under united states of america so i'll select new jersey now let us see whether it is showing cities under new jersey so it is showing trend and never jersey city So let us see in table two, New Jersey. It shows trend in New York, Jersey City. So I'll select Jersey City. So this is how we create a dependent list of country, state, and city. That's it for now. Thanks for watching this video. Please click on like button if you find the information I shared useful, and update comments. Also please subscribe to my channel to get notified about new videos which I will post in future.